I'm Mary Ellen Humphrey, Economic Development Director for the Town of Durham, and this is In the Biz, Durham's Business Spotlight. I'm here today with Ken Young. Hi, Ken. Good morning. How are you? I'm excellent. Thank you. And this is Young's Family Restaurant, an icon in Durham, I would say. Would you agree? Well, you know, it's... It, I hate to look at myself as an icon of the business, but it, it's all about staffing and, and the quality that you bring in the back door. And you know, we've been very fortunate with two families over, the, you know, Youngs and uh, my my dad bought in '68 with the Grant family in 1916 for 100 years, just sustaining ourselves here. And it's been a great community. It's been a great run. So uh, Ken, it's fun. This restaurant has mm -hmm. been in existence for a hundred years. For a hundred years. Yep. Uh, That's incredible. And, and yes, it is. Uh, it, it came to this location in 1924 after a major fire in their first cafe. But the Grants had a vision uh, when they came down to the university wow. and on a, on a carriage. And, and they just saw it and they, they, they loved this community, I think, right from the beginning. And I, I think it's carried on to our family and my dad and my mom. Um, we're very lucky to have... A, a spot as nice as this in a beautiful town of Durham. So, so a restaurant is often short-lived. So, what do you attribute 100 years of being in the food business? Well, I tell what people all the time that the biggest, the hardest thing that I do is come to work every day. We can't have a bad day. You, you think about that for a minute. If, if if I'm having a bad day, that most likely is the customers are not satisfied, and so on and so forth. <laughs> And that is not a good not for business. Not no. for business. Not good for business. And so, like that's that's the hardest thing. You can, you can't have a bad day. And so, whether you're feeling down or whatever's happening in your life, it really doesn't matter when it comes to the customers and taking care of people. And I think really what sustains ourselves is that the partnership we have with the town, uh, the town employees, the, you know, the the city workers, uh, the university, and the professors the schools, the UNH high school, the, the grammar school, and the business people in Durham are just wonderful. And, and you know, that's the marriage, I think, that's great in this small community feel. Yes. And I think we've, we, we try to really put that in a capsule in our business. So you've seen the restaurant business evolve? Yes. For how long have you been doing this? Well, I've been I've been in that kitchen, the same kitchen, for 40 years. 40 years. That's amazing. Yep. So what sort of changes have you observed that you've had to incorporate into Young's? Well, <clears throat> if anybody out there that's listening to this knows anything about food, with all the food networks right. out there, they realize that uh, the food industry is constantly evolving. Uh, so, you know, just recently, uh, four years ago, I started having my own garden at, the, at my house, a 34 by 34 garden, which is supplying a tremendous amount of food here at the restaurant during the summer months. Um, we're just about at the end of our season now. We're starting to buy lettuces and uh, arugula and, and uh, red Russian kale from our friends in California now. So, you know, I'd like to, I'm going to try to see if I can get a local venue for that. But I'm getting a greenhouse, so I'm wow. hoping to extend my season. So that's part of evolving. So when I come here for lunch, or, mm -hmm. and you do breakfast and lunch? Yes. So if I come here for lunch, a lot of the foods I'm eating have come from your garden. That's correct. The arugula, the the red Russian kale, uh, my field greens, the beets, the wow. carrots, onions, uh, fresh basil, um, tomatoes, cherry tomatoes, uh, zucchini, so, much, right. so many things. I mean, and I want to expand that um, in, in using the greenhouse and so that we, we hope to have good food for people yeah. to eat at their table. So that's really, I think, a very Durham-esque kind of business because Durham is very concerned about uh, sustainability and farming and agriculture and so perhaps part of your success here because you do have a lot of customers who are uh, residents as well as the, you're not just a student oriented business no and I'll be honest with you it, what's great about what I'm doing now here is that it's really begun from the example that the community sets we smoke our own salmon it's wild salmon it's not frozen and uh, that's the key as far as quality of salmon goes, and we, we smoke our own, and we're really 
proud and happy that I think people, our customers really enjoy that. We have that on our Benedicts and we have that on salads and so there's so many ways we use these products that we it's come amazing. from the garden. It's amazing that you can grow that much from your small garden, really. Yeah, but it is. I don't get that from my garden, hey, so you must have a green thumb. <laughs> six years ago, I didn't know that either. I mean, it's, this has all been evolving for me. Um, I started going to a local farmer move. And, you know, this is six years ago. See, they were really starting to get energized, too. And they, they had to satisfy their CSA programs for us and so on and so forth. Right. And I, so I said, you know, they're not... At the time, they weren't consistent on when I could get a product, and I can't run my business that way. So I, I said, you know what, I've got room all back, let's do a garden. So, and again, that all has come from really the information and the people that live in this town and how they want right. their lives to be affected. The, many high beds in, in the backyards of Durham Oh, homes. yes. Durham is very much Chickens. agriculture, sustainability. It's, it's awesome. Yes. I, and I, I love it. Yes. I, it's, I, it's important to me. So I guess I would, I would put it in this context that you have really catered to who your, client, who your customers are. Well, not only that, the 19 yeah. and 20-year-olds know a lot more about their bodies right. than the, and their health than, they, than I did when I was 19 and 20. Interesting. You know, the, yeah, and I think the education is out there, and I think it's great. Um, and about nutrition and, and, and about sustainability. So what sorts of foods are you preparing, for example, today? What's in your today kitchen? Today we have, you know, well, we're working on today, we make our own corned beef hash, and so we braise so corned corn beef. beef. Yeah, we braise the corned okay. beef. Uh, we make all our own salsas, and when I have my own tomatoes and, and uh, jalapenos that we roast for that, and um, it's, it's really a great product. Um, we made that today, um, and also we're making pesto today, so we brought in a lot of basil and cleaning the basil and getting it ready to process for pesto, and during, when I have my garden, we're using my basil. And that's part of why I want the greenhouse is so that I can extend that season and hopefully supply that basil for my customers for 12 months out of the year. Amazing. So a lot of you is here in the business, even though you've been owner for only 40 years. <laughs> Let's put it that way. But when I look around, I see photos of mountains and all kinds of things. Can you just give a case people come here and don't know what that's all about? Well, first of all, I, I'm, I've always been, I feel athletic and in try to be as healthy as I can and that got me in, 19, in 2000, the year 2000 I started climbing the 4,000 footers up north ah. and it doesn't take long when you're doing those to get hooked and I mean hooked and um, I'm a winter climber, I've climbed four of the seven summits in the world, I've traveled to Russia, I've traveled to wow. South America three times and you know I'm very very lucky and very fortunate I mean and my, my wife at home has been a great support system for me uh, to allow me to do these things because it's 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 time away from family and right. I, I have enough of that here with the business never mind right. when I go climbing it's always a selfish thing but at the same time it's it open it's it's good for the heart and soul and and so you see a lot of images here about from New Hampshire and um, out back in the dining room the four major scenes at Durham which I we love here um, and you'll see some of my photos that I've taken uh, on some of the major trips I've done around the world and in the White Mountains. So yeah, it's, you know, we need to understand that we have to have a connection that means so much as far as, you know, how our society needs to be built. And to me, it's no better way than to get outside. Well, Durham, again, is very into trails. There's a million trails here that you can yes. get out. Visitors can come and and right. hike those trails and residents yep. can enjoy them. Right. We are we do have the the, the mountain trails. Uh, I'm a hiker myself, but yes. not like you. I do the same trail over and over, but I do it every few days. So yep. I get oh, out yeah. there and yep. and get my battery. You got the same feel as I yes. do. It's no different. Yes. They're different mountains, yes. but you know what? You're out you're out in nature and yeah. you, you want you, you see what has to offer and you don't want to lose it. So I think what I would say is that this is part of the authentic business. It's it's real people, real Durham-esque people. It's the kinds of values the community has, and you have epitomized that in Young's Restaurant. But it all goes to my staff. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, I can effort. only be I can only be so much. I yeah. I can be the driver maybe, or I can yeah. I maybe I'm the truck, but I have to have all the, all sure. the ingredients in the truck. 
and that's my staff, and, and I can't do anything without them, and they are just tremendous. They are, I have um, to say. So yeah. I've been very fortunate with that over the years. I've, had, I've learned from so many great people that have worked for me. You know, I wish, th I'd like to sit here and tell you I know everything about this restaurant and, and cooking, but what? you know, you I've don't? learned a lot. <laughs> I've learned a lot from people that have worked for me, yes. and I, I appreciate that. And, and that's part of taking things in, you know, when you go out on a trail, you yeah. absorb things, you take yeah. things in, and I think it's a really a big feature of how I live my life and uh, try to surround my, myself with positive vibes, if you want to say. Ken, I want to thank you so much for You're giving welcome. us some background. I think a lot of folks in town know you, but maybe folks who don't know you will now come in and, and say hello to your restaurant. Absolutely. I hope they want to say hello to me. I'd be yes. happy to come out and shake somebody's and hand. I and I will use the term icon. I think Young's is an icon in Durham. So. Uh, we're very special. You don't hear this kind of story. Um, a uh, hundred years, two families, and yeah. too many places around the world, you know, in, in this Absolutely. country anymore. So, yeah, it's special. Thank you. So that's it. This is Mary Ellen Humphrey, Economic Development Director. Thank you for joining us for another episode of In the Biz.